So what came first, cosplay or alternative fashion? Cosplay. And I blame my mother. <laughs> I'm Michaela, and I am a Canadian who grew up in Mexico. Now I live in Calgary, work in Calgary, and in my spare time, when I'm not being a professional adult, I enjoy alternative fashion. Cosplay is a short form of costume playing. Alternative fashion is inspired by cosplay in a lot of ways because you're still dressing up to look like a fictional character, but you're essentially just you. And it's fun. I think the first official cosplay I ever did was of a character from a video game called Kingdom Hearts 2. And the character's name is Axel. He's male, which is kind of funny, but he was my favorite character. So um, I decided that that's who I wanted to be. I really enjoy color combination and I've always loved colors. I loved incorporating colors, still do. And I do that at work. If whenever I can, I will incorporate a lot of different colors into what I'm wearing, but of course within the confines of formal dress. Um, and it's, it's fun to challenge myself that way too. But then the nice thing is when I don't have the confines of formal dress, then I go crazy. You know, we have alternative fashion genres that we're all familiar with. There's the goth, there's the pep girl, there's the cheerleader. And the thing is that alternative fashion is really just there are just a ton of subsets of all these genres. And I mean, they're the genre that I tend to fall under, and this is, I just fell in love with it. I've always really enjoyed pastels. All the colors are, it just feels like something out of a fairy tale, but it's a lot of fun because again, not pretending to be a character, just expressing yourself with a different, a different set of clothing, a different set of colors. And that's where it all started for me in terms of deciding that that's the kind of that those were the colors I wanted to incorporate more into my wardrobe those was the those were the colors that I picked out for my wigs it is a hobby that's for sure but most hobbies are are meant to be carried forward because they're things you enjoy regardless of what they are as long as you enjoy them other people appreciate them and you know when you get to make other people smile and laugh or if they they come up to you and say hey I really like what you're doing you know, what, where did you get this wig or whatever. It's really fun to have that conversation. Sometimes I just want to be comfy. I don't want to wear a wig. I like my, my hair the way it is. And I like having, being able to roll out of bed, brush my teeth and go. <laughs> um, because when I, when I do dress up, uh, it's, it's a whole process. It's a whole thing, you know, get on the wig, put on the makeup. And I love it, it's, it's fun, but it takes a long time. It, honestly, the makeup is the part that takes the longest. <laughs> um, and then from there, it's just a matter of deciding. I usually go by, there's one article of clothing that I want to wear. So, it, so I build the rest of the outfit around that. Uh, or there's one specific wig I want to wear. So I build the rest of the outfit around that. And it's just color based. So where I see myself going with alternative fashion is I actually want to mm, hopefully monetize it and the way I plan to do that is the way a lot of other people have which is start a YouTube channel, have a blog, start reviewing clothing and different brands and it's just something I want to do on the side. So I, ha I do have an Instagram account that I've actually been working on for the last year and has been a big part of that. So building that account has just been a lot of fun. I've been experimenting. It's totally personal. It's not, not at all professional in any way at this juncture, but the idea is that I want to build it to that point. So I have created a blog and I will be creating a YouTube channel, hopefully in 2018. And that's, that's where I want to go with this. Um, and I'm just building off that. So hopefully if I stick to it and 
experiment and fail and fail again, maybe one day I'll succeed. <laughs> My mother dressed me as Rainbow Bright as a child. I didn't even know who Rainbow Bright was. I still don't know. I've just seen pictures. 